As the moon circles the Earth, the shape of the moon appears to change. This is because different amounts of the illuminated part of the moon are facing us. The shape follows a cycle from a full moon, when the Earth is between the sun and the moon, to a new moon, when the moon is between the sun and the Earth. This animation explains how and when lunar eclipses can occur within this cycle and indicates the eight phases which change our view of the shape. When can a lunar eclipse occur? A lunar eclipse happens when the moon is shaded from the sun by the earth. This is only possible when the moon is on the opposite side of the earth to the sun, and this occurs for just two days in every month, when the moon is full. However, a lunar eclipse is quite a rare event, normally happening once every couple of years, as we shall now demonstrate. A lunar eclipse can, can only happen when the Sun, Earth and Moon are directly in line. This does not happen very often because the Moon orbits the Earth at a different angle to the Earth's orbit of the Sun, so their orbits have different planes. Usually the Moon is either above or below the Earth and therefore in sight of the Sun. Twice a month it passes through the plane of the Earth's orbit at points called nodes. The positions of these nodes move orbiting the Earth in a similar fashion, but more slowly than the Moon. A lunar eclipse only happens when the Moon and a node coincide behind the Earth. How can an eclipsed Moon be seen? A total lunar eclipse is visible, even though the Earth is much bigger than the Moon and can, in theory, block all of the Sun's light from reaching the Moon. In reality, some of the Sun's light reaches the Moon during an eclipse. This is because sunlight passes through the Earth's atmosphere, which bends it towards the Moon, in a process called refraction. You can see refraction in action if you lower a stick into water. The stick will appear to bend at the point it enters the water. Why does an eclipsed Moon appear red? One of the most spectacular features of a lunar eclipse is when the Moon turns blood red. This is a consequence of sunlight interacting with the Earth's atmosphere. Sunlight is made up of all the colours of the rainbow. Each colour has a different wavelength, which means it is affected differently by the atmosphere. High frequency light is scattered, or deflected, more easily than low frequency light. As a result, more low frequency light reaches the Moon. Because low frequency light is reddish, it makes an eclipsed Moon appear red. The shadow the Earth casts when it is in front of the Sun is divided into two parts. The penumbra is where the Earth blocks just part of the Sun, and the umbra is where it obscures the Sun completely. A total lunar eclipse happens when the whole of the Moon passes into the umbra of the Earth's shadow. This is the most spectacular form of lunar eclipse, in which the Moon dims dramatically and turns reddish-orange. A partial lunar eclipse occurs when only part of the Moon enters the Earth's umbra. Just part of the Moon's disk will go darker and redder, but at no point will all of it take on this colour. The final type of lunar eclipse, a penumbral lunar eclipse, occurs when the Moon enters the penumbra, but not the umbra, of the Earth's shadow. During a penumbral eclipse, the Moon dims a little, but not normally enough to notice. 